everyone. I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. This week on the guide, we are continuing with our Spring into Spring West Coast Swing Springs. So that is a mouthful, but it's also so much fun to get into what a spring is in West Coast Swing and how to choose fun spring variations for your dance. So last week we talked about the definition of a spring and we showed you the foundational movement. This time we're going to show you a really awesome tuck curl slash cutoff variation on the spring for you to enjoy. So first we're going to demo it and then we're going to break it down when you follow. One, two, three, and four, five, and two, three, and four, five, and six. Breaking this down for our leaders, our first note is that this move, as cool as it looks, is not super incredibly complicated. Pretty much all of us have done a push break tuck before and probably most of us have done some form of a curl or a push break cut off. So we really only need to worry about that spring to stitch the two patterns together. Now, because my follower is coming out of a push break tuck, you'll notice that her weight transfer or their weight transfer is a little bit more delayed on that two of the rock and go than it might be on a traditional rock and go. Five and two. So I'm almost leaving Desiree back on her right foot so that she has more time to finish that rotation before we go into that curl. Now, the arm work, this almost feels like I'm sort of like sending my left side and then taking it away to go into that curl. If you watch, really focus on my hands here. Three and four, I send and take it away. Our final note for leaders is, is sort of a fun optional ending. If you want to, you can finish with that hand high in more of like a ballroom hold so that you can get a double resistance anchor and have a little bit more compression through that. One, two, three, and four, five, and two, three, and four, five, and six. So followers, while leaders are trying to slow down their movement a little bit on that rock and go or that spring, what we're trying to do is actually keep pace with our leaders. So first thing to remember about that is our footwork. It's just a walk, walk, and then four consecutive triples in a row. So check this out. Keep your movement going. Walk, walk, triple change direction, triple change direction, triple to change direction, and a triple to anchor. That movement with the triples really drives how we go in this move. Next thing we want to be thinking about is another foundational element of West Coast Swing, the pulse or the delay that we do on our even beats, right? Our twos, our fours, our sixes. And so we really want to use that delay and focus that pulse on moving our bodies through this pattern. So look here, one, two, I'm moving into the foot, three and four, I'm getting over that foot, maybe a little more than I normally would so that I can get into this Spring, I'm moving forward into the curl, and then I'm using my four and then my six to really anchor myself out. Final thing for us followers that we wanna keep in mind is making this move look good, right? In addition to getting there on time, getting there in style. So I'm thinking about taking my shoulders and making sure I close and open them and really angle my entire uh, upper half of my body in this movement to make it look good. I'm gonna go neutral on one, Close in a little on two, open up for three in, stay open for four, close in for five in, open up for two, close in for four again, and then open it up for the anchor to give it some style. Showing this whole thing one final time from the other side. One, two, three, and four, five, and two, three, and four, five, and six. That was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and check out our website and online store linked in the description. See you soon for more springs.